Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I know this is like a different view, but I just wanted to change things up a little bit, and yeah, today's video, oh sorry, I keep forgetting what I'm always talking about, like, welcome back to my channel, if I already said that or not, you can call me Yes It's Abgo, or whatever you guys want to call me, and thanks, for, thanks so much for clicking on this video, and this video is is going to be about what I learned in 2016. Um, I learned in 2016 so many different things. Like, I learned that you're going to have so many different storms in your life. And you know what? This is the Lord by my side. He just has to keep praying, praying every single day until God touches it. Until God touches it, and there you go. It can get so much better. Yeah, like, I had a huge, huge prayer request, and I just kept praying and praying and praying, and now I just finally got res resolved in touch, and I was like so blessed because now I can do what I do now and not feel stressed anymore now because the Lord touched me. And number two, um... I don't know, I keep thinking, like, what I learned that, um, I don't know, like, I learned, like, so many different things, like, me, what I did in 2016 is, just go outside and enjoy yourself, because, just get off your phone, go do, enjoy yourself, go do things, get, because you want to remember yourself by doing things, going to places, hanging out with friends, like you don't need your phone, like just get off your phone and go enjoy the outdoors. I love the outdoors so much, I love nature, I love flowers, I love the woods, I love fishing, I love anything that has to do with the outdoors. I wish I could just stay at the outdoors forever, but I can, I would love to. And in 2016, I run a lot because I love running. Running is my favorite sport of all. And, yeah, and in 2016, I learned that it, life's going to be hard, even though I already have storm, but I don't, life is going to be hard, but sometimes you just got to learn just to deal with it, because that's what God does to you. He puts hard battles in your life, and he sees if you're a strong enough person to go through it and see if you're like strong enough to go through that battle. And you know, and I was recently going through a hard battle and it was happening around, it was like in 2016 and it's finally clearing up and I was like, what, what just happened? Like, does this really happen or did God put this in my life? or? I was confused, but I'm still confused about it, but I'm not really sure if he did or not, but, and I learned, even though, even though you might experience this a couple years ago, but I just started realizing this year, I mean last year, 2016, because 2016 was my 11th grade year, and in half of my senior year and I was like thinking to myself um who are really my true friends and I was thinking like who they really are who's always there when I need them who's always there when I want to sit there and cry who's always there when I need to go get something like go get something like go shopping or something who's always there who, who wants to do something with me or be by my side. And I was thinking, do I really have those true friends? You know, I was like thinking who my really true friends are because eleventh grade was a rough year. Nothing like two thousand fourteen, but it was a rough year for me. Yeah, so sometimes you just have to deal with it with what life gives you. You just have to go through it and see if you're strong enough to go through that. And I don't know, like, I think that's, I don't know, and I also learned when you're in school not to give up, just to keep trying and trying, 
you to you get where you want to go. Like my goal is, my goal last year was to try to keep trying and trying and trying and not give up. And I was like, I think I've done that. Like I motivate myself to keep trying and trying and trying and don't stop until I get it, until I understand it, or to keep going. And I was like, I'm I want to like. And I'm going to keep that same thing I did in 2016, 2017, because I want to keep motivating myself. Yeah, and I was like, in me, what I learned is, well, I'm going to say what I did, but it made a lot of people smile and laugh. That's what I love doing, because I personally think I'm stupid and dumb. Like, like I'm not going to say I'm really stupid and dumb, but I'm just doing it to be funny. Do it to be funny. And I'm just doing it to be funny and everything. I love, I love laughing. Someone can just say something to me and I would sit there and just laugh. It's like it's like the a humorous out of me. I don't know. And I made a lot of people smile and laugh. A lot of people came up to me and go, "You made me smile. You made me laugh. Your YouTube videos are the best." And I'm like, oh, that like made me happy and everything. I just wanted to do that. And my goal for 2016 was. Um, to keep singing and practicing more. But yeah, I'm still practicing on my singing and everything. Yeah. So my goal for 2017, I don't know. I might do another video for that. But my goals are for 2017, and I think that's all about what I have to say. I don't know if I have any else thing to say. So. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and comment below what other video I should do. Um, I might do what I learned from what I learned from high school because it is my senior year and I do want to do more videos. I'm trying to think about what other videos I do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you guys so much for watching and deuces. <laughs> I'm just being stupid.